Hey, it's Travel Gigolo and we are heading up Maripskop Pass to the Maripskop view site that looks down over the Blada River Canyon. The viewpoint is located about 55 kilometers by road from Hoodspread. Note that this is about a one and a half hour drive due to the nature of the road, especially once you've left the tar road from there to the viewpoint, it does take quite a bit of time. Approximately 20 kilometers of this drive is unpaved road and some of it is quite rocky, quite stony, quite rough. And then there's about 10 kilometers of paved road. It's concrete paved road and a bit of asphalt as well, but it is very, very steep. So it is quite slow going and winding as well. To get to the viewpoint, you have to drive through the Department of Forestry's office and that is where you will sign in and get your permit as well. So important thing to note is that you need a 4x4 to get up the pass. You probably can do it with the two-wheel drive as well, but I do not recommend that. And in particular, I think firstly because if it rains and it's wet, it's going to be hard to get up there in a two-wheel drive. And also because with the two-wheel drive, if you're not used to driving these cups of conditions, then you can start to damage the road. If you want to have a look at the Air Force Station, then you've got to drive past the viewpoint turn off. The site is locked so you can basically only see from the outside and just take note that when you get there, there isn't a lot of space to turn your car around. We are at Maripskop. This is the second highest peak in the Drakensberg range. It's about 1,945 meters above mean sea level. The views from here are absolutely amazing. And what makes it even more significant is that we're looking down at the low fall. Now today it's quite windy and it's quite cloudy and there's a storm coming in so it's a little bit hazy and you can't really see that well on the camera, the vistas behind me. But on a clear day it's said that you can see all the way to the Indian Ocean and you can even see the city of Maputo in Mozambique. If you're going to come all the way to the Blade River Canyon, I really do recommend that you take the extra time to drive up to Maripsko. It's on the other side of the Blade River Canyon view site so it's about a two hour drive but it is really amazing, it is fantastic and I think I recommend that everybody do this if they can. So driving up here with our Land Cruiser, the Wild Dogs, an ADC's Land Cruiser, relatively old diesel engine, it started to overheat so we had to stop for a couple of minutes, let it cool down and then start up again. Something that's really cool about being up here is when you start the drive from the bottom in the low felt, you're in a very sort of hot, humid, almost tropical type habitat. And when you get to the top of the mountains, it's Fainbos type habitat. So it's very similar to being on top of Table Mountain in Cape Town, for example. So it's a magnificent drive up the pass, and apparently it is second only to the Sunny Pass in terms of its impressiveness. Check out the website Mountain Passes of South Africa. There is tons of information on there about this pass and many other passes in South Africa. So thanks to the guys that set that up, it's really fantastic. It's nice to have that information available. I'll leave a link below to the Mountain Passes of South Africa website. There are also a set of videos, YouTube videos, etc. that are really informative. So that's really nice to have in your preparation to drive up the pass because you get a lot of information, not just on the steepness of it and I think the sort of civil engineering around the pass itself, but just some general information about driving up here. Note when you get up here, it is, like I said, 1,945 meters. So it is relatively high altitude and it can get quite cold up here and it can get very windy. So just take note of the weather as you are approaching or intending to drive up on the day that you're intending to drive up because it can get a little bit unpleasant if you get caught up here in the clouds or in a rainstorm or on an extremely windy day for example. Note when you drive up here there is a gate. The area is run by the Department of Forestry so when you drive up here there is a gate that you have to drive through and there's a small permit fee it's about 25 Rand. Uh, money well spent and then you can drive up the pass. So this is really one of the amazing things about exploring South Africa is just finding these really fantastic places, these out of the way experiences and adventures and I really recommend that you do come up here if you have the opportunity. If you're looking for a place to stay and you're into camping like ourselves then the Blade River picnic site is a good place to stay. It's about an hour's drive from here. It's way down in the valley so it's really warm and tropical down there so it's very different to being up here. If you enjoyed this, if you found it informative, smash the like button, also subscribe, check out my other videos and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. What passes do you love doing? Maybe we can learn something from you and maybe we can try some of the places that you've been to. Until the next episode, go everywhere, see everything, have a great time.